And now, your NBC 26 Storm Shield forecast with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Well, as we go ahead into the end of March, we could be seeing a little bit more precipitation wise. Matter of fact, the Climate Prediction Center is highlighting most of the continental United States under an, an above average chance of seeing precipitation, whether it's rain or snow. But today we didn't see any of that. And matter of fact, there was some nice sunshine out there. Some low level clouds blew in here from the lakeside, but that was short lived. We did see sunny skies come right back in here as we went into the late afternoon hours. But it is still feeling a little cool out there while the sun is shining. It feels like 26. Thanks to that northeast wind of 14 miles per hour. The current air temperature in Green Bay is at 35 degrees. We've got 33 in Anago, 33, uh, 37 in Mountain, 40 degrees in Wapaka, 35 in Manitowoc. We've got 30 in Ephraim and 40 in Fond du Lac. We've got winds are going to turn calm tonight, but then they're going to start to pick up tomorrow out of the south and southwest. So that's going to transport a little bit of warmer air into our area. We're going to talk more right around the 40s, low 40s. But then as a frontal boundary moves in here, we could start to see some chance of rain move in as well. Quiet right now on Storm Shield radar, but as we zoom farther off towards the west, there's moisture being transported from the Pacific Ocean, riding over the Rockies and redeveloping over the northern plains. And some of this energy is being tapped from a low pressure way up in Canada. A cold front will pass through. So the high pressure that we saw today brought in the nice sunshine that's moving out. So the clouds will build in here overnight tonight. And as we get into the afternoon and evening tomorrow, that's when we could see a chance of some light sprinkles. Could see a few wet snowflakes, but that'll be real up to the north, closer towards the UP. The rest of us, it'll be rainfall that we'll watch out for. So 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, cloudy skies to mostly cloudy. You start to see some of that moisture up to the north. We get to about 630. Now as this uh, frontal boundary moves in here, we start to see some of these light sprinkles. Very scattered, minimal in nature. And then once that passes through, skies clear very quickly for St. Patrick's Day. It looks like it'll be a nice and sunny day. Precipitation wise, very minimal. We're talking a trace, a hundredth of an inch, nothing to be concerned about. But as you get into the middle and the end of the work week, there's a larger system that we'll have to watch out for. A chance of rain on Wednesday, but then as you get into Thursday into Friday, this is something we'll have to monitor where exactly this storm tracks. We're getting into that transition season of these strong spring snowstorms. Or if you're in the cold sector, snow, warm sector, rain, there's still some fluctuations exactly where that storm will track. But any precipitation could cause more issues with the ongoing flooding risk where we have on the Wolf River and also the Aconto River. 24 for an overnight low temperature tonight. Light winds out of the southeast, 2 to 5. And then for tomorrow, high of 40 degrees. We get up into the lower 40s on Tuesday for St. Patrick's Day, then a chance of some rainfall on Wednesday. And after the system departs, whether we get rain, snow, it does cool off as we get into the weekend. High of only 31 on Saturday. I like the little dancing leprechaun on there. Yeah, that'll it's cheer a nice you up. Touch to them. Exactly. Uh, St. Patrick's Day, still trying to bring a little bit of joy. Uh -huh. so, yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks, you Gino.